Okay, um, what I want to talk about here is what do we do when we're given certain zeros to find the function? And hopefully you guys remember, you've seen the other videos, when given factors, or I'm sorry, when given zeros, we write them as factors. And we need to remember factors multiply to give us our polynomial, right? Just like think of the factors of 12. Um, if I say two factors of 12 would be 6 and 2, the reason why they're factors is because they evenly divide into 12. Meaning when I take those two factors, 6 times 2 gives us 12. So what we're going to do for our polynomial is I'm given my zeros. I need to write them as factors. So we need to remember, how did we, get, how did we go from factors to zeros? Well, remember, let's say I have, let's say I have x squared um, plus 9. And then I had x minus 1 equals 0. You guys may remember this. Remember, the first thing we do is set the zero product property. Um, yeah, whatever. Um, equals 0. And then you say x minus 1 equals 0. Well, to solve for your 0, you would add 1. And you get x equals 1. Then for here, when you have a square, you'd have x squared equals negative 9. Then you square root. And remember, we always did x equals square root. We always did plus or minus. right? So that's why, because a lot of times in a test, I'm just going to, no, I can't do that. I would say 3i. And make sure that's my answer. Yeah. I give you 4 comma 3i. Well, remember, if you're given one complex number as a, um, if you're given one imaginary number as a root, you have to include the opposite value. Because remember, when we take the square root to find the 0, it's always going to be plus or minus. So notice, I'm going to have both of these be my zeros, meaning I can write both of these as factors like this. All right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to take our zeros and we're going to write it as a series of factors. So to do that, I say x minus 4 times x plus 3i times x minus 3i. All right, And if you want to do that, if you want to go from how did I get x minus 4? Well, remember, if that's my 0, that means the x-intercept equals 4. So I set that equal to 0. So I subtract the 4 on the other side, so I get x minus 4, meaning that's my factor. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply. Well, I'm going to multiply this first because what I notice is my first two terms are the same, last two terms are the same. That's the difference of two squares. we got to remember the difference of two squares because it helps us multiply so much quicker. And we see this that we don't have to need to follow the FOIL and all that kind of stuff. We can easily just rewrite this now as x squared minus 3 times negative 3 is negative 9, but then times i squared, i squared is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 9 is now going to give me positive 9. Now I need to multiply these two. So I have f of x equals these two binomials multiplied. So I get x cubed uh, minus 4x squared plus 9x minus 36. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you multiply when you have uh, given zeros to find your polynomial. Thanks.